Hi. Hi, students. I'm Dr. Badrinath. Today's burning topic. We are in the Corona second wave. Today's burning topic, immunization, vaccination. What is the difference between the vaccination? What is the immunization? This vaccination of the Corona, soon it comes under the UAP, Universal Immunization Program, soon. That's why this topic is very, very important. Very, 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 very important. So far, vaccination of the Corona is not comes under the UAP. This is a government program, Universal Government of India program. Okay, so UAP is very, very important. Uh, definitely, you can expect for the examinations also. And uh, Mission Indradhanas, this is especially for children's. UAP, Universal Immunization Program, it is for all ages. All ages, okay? Whereas a Mission Indradhanas is definitely for children. That's why the children, it covers the seven diseases, which is equal to rainbow. Rainbow having a seven colors. It was launched in the 2014, Mission Indradhanas. So this is also important, right? Yeah. We will see what is the uh, immunization, okay? What is the vaccination? So what are the points I have covered here is the universal immunization program, this point, and topic uh, uh, missions, Indra Dhanash. These two points I have covered in that introduction. Vaccines, which are covered under the UAP, and also outcome, okay, as per your syllabus only. And uh, mission Indra Dhanash, introduction and outcome, that's enough. Okay, whatever I have said in the video, which is a sweet and short, that's more than enough. And here, this vaccination, whenever you come to the concept of vaccination, for children especially, there was a number of vaccinations are there. Number of each vaccine, different doses, different times, 0 0.1 ml, 0 0.6 ml, and uh, terms also. One dose you have to give a five months, one dose, uh, one type of vaccine you have to give a three months, and uh, one type of vaccine is only for one uh, once, that's it lifetime ones and like that many things are there so uh, the parents generally they will not remember all these things that's why the number of apps are available uh, here i have shown the one uh, vaccination reminder app here this you can be download and you enter what is uh, your child age etc and all so automatically it gives a reminder to you repeatedly it gives a reminder so that you can go to the hospital and you can be take it right see what is this immunization what is a vaccination here I have shown two types of immunity is there, active immunity and passive immunity. Okay. Active immunity means our own body, our own body develops the immune system. Our own immune system will develop the antibodies. Okay. Then that is called as a active immunity because we are active. Our body is active. That's why our body itself, it produces the antibodies again as to the antigen. We know antigen. Suppose say this is a natural. This is also two types. Is natural and artificial. I will tell you what is this one. See, this is suppose say this is coronavirus. This came and infected a person. So active immunity, which is present in his body, it will be developed. It fights. It, it kills the corona completely. It kills. So that's why those who is having a high active immunity, they need not to be take vaccines. Also, actually, those who. But we don't know either our body is consist of a high immunity or medium immunity, low immunity. We don't know. Isn't it? So, if corona enters naturally, naturally, see here, that's why it is called a natural immunity. Corona is enters into, not only corona, any virus, any bacteria, which enters naturally into the body, directly it come and touch you, or you go and touch the corona or whatever it may be. Our body produces the antibody against the corona, and if it is killed, then you can say it is a natural, natural, okay? Whereas artificial, now what happened? We don't know either the bacteria is touched or not. In such a cases, what happened? The persons, the people, not patients here, active persons only, they will go and take the vaccine. What the vaccine consists of means it is also nothing but corona. Vaccination is nothing but corona. But keep in your mind, directly live, they will not give complete. That is point is very, very important. 70% of the coronavirus will be killed. 80% of the coronavirus will be killed and remaining only the spikes are uh, certain part, bacterial cell wall, like that some of the components only, they will break the coronavirus completely. Okay. 80% damage they will do. Okay. And only the remaining 20%, 10%, they will give in the form of vaccination. 
so what happen our body will start producing the antibodies okay when some cases what happen the antibodies will not be produced in our body because of the our immune system is poor in such a cases you if your body is inactive if your body is not able to produce antibodies you have to take the antibodies from others that is called as a plasma donation see here this is called a monoclonal antibodies or plasma donation from the patients you are taking because those who recovered from the corona okay those who recovered from the corona their body consists of a antibodies their own antibodies that antibodies they are transferring because your body do not have a capacity to produce the antibodies that's why plasma donation it is a very good corona is infected the patient has developed the antibodies he is get cured completely recovered now his body consists of the antibodies that antibodies you can give to the person who are all unable to recover from the corona see simple logic simple whenever you do not have you just it. and the natural also there here passive pass that's a pass that's why it is called a pass pass from one person to another person that's why it is called a passive immunity active immunity means actively actively your body system right and the natural immunity natural passive from mother naturally through the breast milk that's why breast milk is very very important don't go for uh, buffalo milk and all for children and naturally your maternal antibodies will be transferred through the milk it enters into the body so that body will be boosted that's why that's why mother milk is always best and this what is this map 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 see monoclonal antibodies see this is a monoclonal antibody it is maybe a biotechnological product might be okay they will prepare in that uh, not only plasma it is also not only the patient recovered from the plasma it is also from uh, see here in the uh, biotechnology products okay that also the patient can take so we are studying a subject of social and preventive pharmacy also called as social and preventive medicine which is a very important for uh, mbbs okay nursing pharmacy uh, lab techni uh, diploma in lab technicians etc and this is a concept objective functioning only outcomes universal immunization program this point we are going to be cover along with the mission indra dhanush very simple very few slides are there okay and the uip introduction first they have uip first they have established as a epi see it is a immunization program name itself indicates okay good it is introduced in the name of epi in the 1978 epi is produced epi is nothing but expanded program of immunization expanded epi name is changed in the uip universal immunization program in 1985 so these years you have to keep in your mind that you have to write in the examination okay see how many years they took nearly to change the name since it covers the major diseases most of the diseases it will be covered okay so that you can feel that you can feel happy okay i have uh, recovered i have i took the vaccine but vaccine is not complete production that is another part your body will be get somewhat uh, ready to fight uh, it doesn't give the critical condition like that it is also called as a universal why it is called a universal universal it covers the most of the thing that's why corona is also corona vaccine also covaxin covishield now they are going to be introduced in the uip only and it is conducted by the ministry of the health and family welfare that also very easy point only because it comes under the health department only government of india program and they proposed in the phase five phase five only phase one uh, immunization phase two immunization all districts they want to cover they want to implement in the, all the districts and this formula you can remember 11 plus 1 plus 3 what is this i will tell you here i will show you and from 2005 onwards it comes under the nrhm all these are very important Nat national rural health mission national rural health mission one of the largest health program in the world is nrhm this uip is largest world largest that not only in the nation world largest program keep in your mind okay one of the largest health program in the world goi government of india provided several vaccines under the uip to infants children and pregnant women like that all ages they have covered under uip okay uip covers the 11 diseases that's why here i mentioned initially later they added one more disease later again three diseases they added so totally 15 are there uh, now they have removed four diseases which are completely eliminated and eradicated so need not to be take the vaccine for that so now newly net is again 11 only so 
15 minus 4, they removed again 11. So started with 11 diseases. Now also they have 11 diseases. Central government budget is 3587 crores. Okay, 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2. 1 minus 1. Okay. Free vaccination, uh, free vaccination for government is allotted. Not, this is not included in the corona vaccine. Okay. That still officially not come under UIP. NTAG, what is this NTAG? It comes under the um, National Technical Advisory Group of India. Now this NTAG, NTH, not NTRH. NTRH is a country's apex scientific advisory body on immunization. Apex body, which advise, it gives the advice. So this is very important. In IAS, IPS examination, in the those who students who are preparing for the group, who, what is Apex body for the advisory of the national, uh, this one, uh, for uh, vaccination means NTH, NTRH. Vaccines which are covered under UIP, very, very important. I made already the table chart from your textbook or from the website, which was I collected. Okay, only the 11 diseases, what is presently it is there, that 11 diseases only we are going to be covered. Short name they are calling as a BCG, Bacillus, Calmatic, variant. very, very important. It covers the tuberculosis, this is. And OPV, oral polio vaccine, polio, this is for polio. Hepatitis B vaccine, this is for hepatitis. Pentavalent vaccine, penta, five, one, two, three, four, five. Pentavalent vaccine, it covers the five diseases. Diphtheria, tetanus, parasitis, influenza, hepatitis. Okay, dipti. This name is called D-I-P-T-H. Dipti, you can uh, keep in your mind. That is a technique word here, you can uh, practice. Dipti. Okay, Deepti means pentavalent. Five letters are there. RVV, rotavirus vaccine. Rotavirus diarrhea. Okay, rotavirus vaccine. PCV, in the exam, they will give shortcut only. PCV, pneumococcal vaccine. Streptococcus pneumonia. And uh, FIPV, F means fractional. Fractional inactivated poliomyelitis. Poliomyelitis is nothing but those. Vaccine is nothing but the virus only or bacteria only or from the respective agent only that they will make it weak 80 percent of the uh, that uh, bacteria will be killed and uh, only 20 percent given as a vaccination that process is called as a vaccination our body produces the immune uh, immunization okay vaccination means vaccine giving immunization means our body produces the antibodies okay and measles vaccine mrv measles rubella jev japanese encephalitis vaccine and DPT, booster combined vaccine, diphtheria, tetanus, uh, like a DTP operator is there, no? DTP operator, computer DTP operator will be there, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. TTR, TD, tetanus, adult diphtheria, it is covers the diphtheria like that. So total 11 are there, that 11 are very, very important. We can collect it from the website also, need not to be that much. This is more than enough for you. EIP outcome is reduced to the child mortality. See, child death they reduced by 75%, saved 27 million of the child lives annually, prevented 1 lakh infants. Otherwise, uh, India will become a like, uh, very dangerous uh, situation. Yeah, mission Indradhanas. Indradhanas consists of a seven colors. This is especially for children. That's why they made uh, children. Seven diseases are covered under Indradhanas. Seven colors are equal to seven diseases. Like that, the, all the seven diseases are ready to coming to this uh, person. But he is uh, just like he used an umbrella uh, with the help of this vaccination so that he fighted all the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the seven diseases are very important. Measles, polio, pertussis, tetanus, TB, diphtheria, hepatitis. All the seven will be he prevented. That's why he felt very happy. Smile face is there. These are how to remember easily in the logic. You observe the diagram. So vaccination cover outcome. This is outcome. Vaccination covers again is to the seven diseases. Okay. To more than 80, 89 lakhs children by 2020. Very, uh, this is also a very good, excellent program. Number of times it was appeared in the IAS examinations. Okay. Mission Indra Dhanush. They asked in the examination, what is the purpose of Mission Indra Dhanush? Giving a multivitamin tablet, giving a multivitamin and mineral tablet, giving a excellent food for a natural food for body. And fourth one is a giving the vaccination. You have to choose the option. Introduction. Health mission by GOI, Government of India. Immunization mission for children below two years only. This is this point also very important. Indra Dhanush stands for two years below. Launched on 2014, December. 
aim at the immunization of the this is the aim is 90% they have a aim to cover the children in by 2020 the total children who are all there below to 2 years 90% they will cover that is a aim vaccination against the seven diseases outcome is they covered the 201 districts in the phase 1 covered 50 percentage of unvaccinated children they covered 50 90 percent they covered the 50 percent okay yeah so i will end my session here uh, thank you to vaccine here see thank you vaccine okay this boy is saying thank you to vaccine now he is smiling like a rainbow <laughs>